Week 23 of the fantasy basketball season. And here's a few centers I look to add with championship week. In most weeks here, this week, the first center, Marvin Bagley of the Washington Wizards. So Marvin Bagley got traded from the Pistons to the Wizards this season. And this Wizard team, they're just playing young guys and seeing what they got for the future. And Bagley, we know injuries have been a problem throughout his career. But when he plays, he's been putting up decent stats on the year. 11.8 points a game, 6.3 rebounds, 1.1 assists, 58%. From the field, but the last couple weeks since he returned, 14.2 points a game, 7.4 re rebounds, one block, and 69% from the field. So he's the old school type of center, is Marvin Bagley, where it's just going to be rebounding 10 12 points per game, a block, block and a half a game, and a good field goal percentage. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. I know everyone wants to see these guys shoot the three ball and have that in their arsenal, even though Bagley, the last couple games. He's shooting more threes than he's hit a couple, but like I said, he's going to bring you all the other categories that a traditional center, obviously going back to the 80s and 90s, would bring on March 27th versus Brooklyn, 18 points, six boards, a block, two threes, 70% from the field. March 29th versus Detroit, 15 points, 11 boards, an assist, two blocks, a three, 77% from the field. And March 31st versus Miami, 12 points, 10 boards. Two steals, 55% from the field. So right now, Bagley, he's playing good basketball. He's getting good playing time, and he's available right now. He's Bagley in 55% of fantasy leagues, and he's a player playing four games as well this week, which is always a plus. The next center is Jackson Davis of the Golden State Warriors. So Jackson Davis, he's definitely taken a lot of minutes over the last few weeks here with Kavan Mooney definitely has lost a lot of playing time and at times he's a healthy DMP so on the year for Jackson Davis in his rookie year 7.6 points a game 4.8 rebounds 1.2 assists 1.1 blocks and 70 percent from the field so the same thing as Marvin Bagley he's not going to shoot threes he's going to have a good field goal percentage allow layups alley-oops and thunks and he's going to shot block and get rebounds so the last couple weeks 11.4 points a game 8.3 rebounds, 1.9 assists, 1.3 steals, 2 blocks, and 68% from the field. So right now, Jackson Davis, he's been a 5-category type of player since his minutes has gone up about 30 minutes per game for this Warrior team. And he fits this Warrior team, an athletic center, guy can make plays underneath the hoop, block shots, like I said, and a good rebound on March 27th at Orlando, 8 points, 14 boards, 3 assists, a steal, a block, 50% from the field, March 29th. At the Hornets, 18 points, 8 boards, an assist, 2 steals, 3 blocks, 69% from the field. The March 31st at the Spurs, 7 points, 7 boards, 3 assists, 2 steals, a block, 60% from the field. So this Warrior team, ever since Jackson Davis has been inserted into more playing time, has it gone up for Jackson Davis? This Warrior team, they've been playing good basketball over the last month and a half, two months of the season. And he's giving them that energy boost. And he can help fantasy owners as well, like I said, in four or five categories. And he's available right now as Jackson Davis, 50% of fantasy leagues. Next center, I look to it off the wire this week's Andre Drummond of the Chicago Bulls. Andre Drummond, we know for the most part, he's only going to give you one or two categories. But when he does, he's good at rebounding, obviously. On the year, 8.3 points a game, 8.8 rebounds, and 55% from the field. But the last couple weeks, 8.7 points a game. 9.7 rebounds at 51% from the field. So if you need rebounding, pretty much that's the category Andre Drummond is going to give fantasy owners. We know he's not going to play major minutes when the Cola Vukovic there. He's only playing 15, 20 minutes per game. But he's been productive in that small sample size. Is Drummond available right now in 61% of leagues. March 27th versus Indiana, 14 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, 62% from the field. March 29th. At the Nets, 6 points, 11 boards, 2 blocks, 50% from the field. On March 31st at the Timberwolves, 6 points, 9 boards, a steal, 50% from the field. So rebounding and field goal percentage is which Drummond's going to bring fantasy owners. And right now, while well, he's still out there in a decent amount of fantasy leagues, three games coming up this week here. He's a center I looked at this week. Off the boy, the next center, Nick Richards at the Charlotte Hornets. So Nick Richards, he's been on this list pretty much almost every week. In fantasy basketball, we know Mark Williams, he went out early in the season with a back injury and he hasn't returned. So Nick Richards, he's gone out there and he's more of a traditional center as well. Rebounding, field goal and shot blocking he's going to bring on the year. 9.8 points a game, 8.2 rebounds, 1.2 blocks and 68% from the field. But the last few weeks, 9.7 points a game, 7.5 rebounds and 70% from the field. So I know his field goal 
has been solid. The points per game have dropped a little bit. But like I said, Nick Richards is getting good minutes. 25, 30 minutes per game. This Hornet team going nowhere. And they're going to play the young guys the rest of the way. So March 27th versus Cleveland, 11 points. 10 boards, 100% from the field. March 29th versus the Warriors, 12 points. 8 boards, 85% from the field. And March 31st versus the Clippers, 8 points. 2 boards, the steal a block, 66% from the field well Richards he's getting good playing time obviously and Mark Williams is out for the season and he's putting up solid stat lines and it can help in three or four categories he's a solid ad this week available in 50 percent of fantasy leagues in the fifth and final center I looked at off the wire this week here his teammate Davis Bertans of the Charlotte Hornets so Bertans they got in a trade with the OKC Thunder he's the Charlotte Hornet team and he's gone out there and he's made the most of his opportunity. We know Bertans many years ago with the Wizards signed the big contract where he was a solid three-point shooter and he was putting up 15, 20 points per game. But the last couple of years, he's really fallen out and hasn't really played at all on the year. 6.2 points a game, 1.3 rebounds, 1.7 threes and 38% from the field. But the last few weeks is 7.2 points a game, 1.2 rebounds, 2.2 threes a game and 35 percent from the fields if you need three-point shooting pretty much that's all Bertans is going to bring to fantasy owners but he's playing about 20-25 minutes per game as well for this one team March 27th versus Cleveland five points a rebound a steal with three 16 percent from the field March 29th versus the Warriors 14 points three rebounds and assist a steal four threes and March 31st in that one versus the Clippers 15 points two rebounds and assist five threes 55 percent from the field so Bertans this week He's got four games under his belt, and if you need three-point shooting and someone who's at least going out there and getting some decent playing time in a center position that doesn't have many great pickups this week, I think Bertans could be a sneaky ad, and he's available right now, 96% of fantasy leagues. That's a few centers I looked at off the wire in the championship round for most fantasy leagues in week 23 of the fantasy basketball season.